Hello, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so that each time I upload a new content, you get to be notified. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you on how you can express this as a single fraction. So we want to express these as single fractions. How can we express these two fractions as a single fraction? And now you can express these two as a single fraction. So I'm going to start with these. These are important questions that get to come in your exams. So the first thing you need to do is to find the denominator. How can you find the denominator of these two? So the denominator of these two, these are different. So you cannot find one factor. So since they are different, you just bring them down. You say 2x minus 1, x plus 2. You do this. Then you start now by dividing. You say this one into that. These are going to cancel. You are going to marry this part. This part multiplied by what is on top? 3 multiplied by x plus 2. Then you say minus minus what? There is a 4 there. Then you do this. You know that x plus 2 into these two. x plus 2, x plus 2 cancel out. You are going to remain with this, which is 2x minus 1. This is what you need to do. Some people will tell you that when you just find the common denominator, which is these two, you bring them down. Then you start with this to cross multiply. This thing, 3 is going with that one. 4 is going with that one. This is what I've just done. So if you are used that way, you can be going that way. But it's better you understand like this. So 3 will be multiplied with that one. 3 times x plus 2 minus 4. Open bracket 2x minus 1. This one is going with that one. This one is going with that one. If these two factors, if these two denominators are just brought down there so you continue and say this is equal to this is equal to you start multiplying this times that three times x that is three x plus three times two six four times two x that is minus eight x plus negative times negative that is a positive plus four then you say over this one will continue so 2x minus 1, you do that, then you say x plus 2. This is now equal to what? This is now equal to what? Where you say you group the like terms, so you are going to have uh, 3x minus 8x. 3 minus 8, that is negative 5x. 6 plus 4, so 6 here. The sign is positive there. So plus 4, that is plus 10. You do that over, over what? Over 2x minus 1, x plus 2, like this. This is the answer that you get. So this is our answer for the first one. These are the procedures that you need to do. So make sure you understand this. You understand this very well. So make sure you get this and understand. If you want, you can start with a positive. You say 10 minus 5x. So if you want, you can do this. It is just one and the same thing. If you want to add a negative 10 minus 5x, you can do this. It is just one and the same thing. So let us now look at that one. We look at that. So, we've got this second one now. You find the lowest common denominator. What is the lowest common denominator there? This is 3 and 2. Which number can 3 and 2 go into without leaving any remainder? The smallest number. So, the smallest number is a 6. You put, so 6 is the lowest common denominator according to this question. So 3 into 6, it is 2. 2 times what is on top? 2 
times x minus 1. You say plus. What is 2 into 6? It is 3. 3 times what is on top? 3 times what is on top? x minus 3. This is what you get to do. Hope you've seen. You start now multiplying. 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times 1, that is 2. Plus 3 times x, 3x. 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. Then you do this, common denominator, 6. If you evaluate, so this is equal to, this is equal to here, 2x plus 3x, that is 5x. Negative 2 minus 9, that is negative 11. Then you say over what? Over 6. This is your answer. So this is what you need to do. These are the procedures that you have to do for you to answer such equation in an exam. Hope this has helped you to know how to express fractions as single fractions. Thank you so much.